so one of our subscriber recently had interview in bajaj finance and that person has shared me all the interview questions but one of the trigger interview question i found it a bit interesting so that's why i'm going to share the same in this specific video okay so i'll be solving that interview question in front of you the trigger question that are in front of you okay and you can also learn something new from here as well okay so let's get started without further ado let's get started okay but before we get started if you have any upcoming interview and uh, you're not very confident to sit in that interview you can have a one to one mock interview with me by clicking on the top met link below okay so let's get started the question that was asked to her was when case is created or updated with priority as high update the custom field high priority case count field on account reflecting the total number of open high priority cases okay so the person who had an interview okay who took the interview uh, asked uh, the person that is uh, they have to basically maintain the high priority case count okay so under account i can have multiple cases right under account i can have multiple cases okay so whichever are high i have to just maintain the count of it under this field high priority case count that's what the overall scenario is okay so let's get started let's start coding over here okay first of all let me convert the language to javascript oh sorry java okay so first of all i will be writing the trigger on cases okay so trigger i'll say case trigger case and uh, the events will be after update and after insert okay and then let's start the writing the trigger okay so first things first what i'm going to do is i'm going to loop over the coming incoming triggers right incoming cases okay so we are looping over and then we have to filter out the high priority cases out of it okay so if case sorry if c dot priority equals to equals to high then in that case we have to capture those cases whose priority is high okay so what i'm going to do is that for that reasons i'm going to create a map which will capture for which account what are the different high priority cases okay for uh, as we already know under one account there can be multiple cases which can be high okay not only one but multiple cases so that's why i'm going to create a map of id comma list of cases okay map of id comma list of cases which will represent one account can have multiple cases that's the reason why map of id comma list of cases okay so i will say map of account to cases equals to new map of id comma list of case okay so our map is specifically ready okay i will check if the priority is high then i need to capture the account the related account and the cases as well okay all the related cases as well okay so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to first of all say if this contains c dot account id if that account id is already there in my map then i have to do something else damn else i'll do something else so if that account id is already there in my map so i have to append the cases okay if the account id that i was let's say if this map is first time i'm uh, uh, looping over and first case that i've got is priority is high okay it's not there in map so it will go inside the else and in that else we have to map that specific account id to that case okay to that specific case so what i have done is uh, that account id has been mapped to that specific case next time let's say under that same account okay under that let's say i have account 1 okay account 1 is been mapped to case 1 okay now again in the next loop i have got a case 2 whose account is also account 1 in that case okay so basically first i got case 1 whose priority was high okay i have mapped account 1 is mapped to case 1 in the next loop the case that i have received is case 2 whose priority is also high and it has the account 1 only as a parent okay so in that case if i am looping over and if priority is high now my map already contains that account id that is account 1 it's already there inside the map so i am going to go inside this specific condition okay so what i need to do is first i need to find the id i mean i need to find the position of this account 1 okay so for that reasons i will say dot get c dot account id okay so basically what i will do is i will get the position of this account one and under that account one i have to add my another case to okay so i will do dot add 
C. Okay. So basically now account one first was mapped to case one. Next time when case two come in came, okay, uh, which will be having the same account one. So our map is already consisting of the account one. It will check, okay, account one is already there. Uh, we will first get that account one over here, and then at behind it we will try to append the next case that is case two. So under account one now I have case one and case two. Both of them are mapped, okay, using this. Now once that is done, let's go ahead and get all the related accounts, okay, or all the parent accounts, okay. So I will again use directly the for loop account acc colon triggered. So not trigger dot no, sorry. Select id comma name comma the field that we had that is I think so high priority case count field from account where id equals to map of account to cases so i'm getting all the parent accounts right key set now once i have got all the accounts my job is to populate the the count inside it okay and for that reasons i will say acc dot high priority case count equals to for that particular account whichever i am looping on right now let's say i will try to get the account I'll try to get that specific account ID and for that specific ID, I will get all the related cases. Okay. Which will be in the form of list. Okay. So if I want to get the size, size will basically give me the count of the cases that, uh, that map has, right? So using dot size, I can directly get the count of the related cases that account has. Okay. So basically the high priority case count will directly populated with the size of the cases or the number of the cases that for that specific account we have. And then finally, what you can do is you can create a list of account. And capture that over here. And once that is done, you can check the size. Okay, I'm not checking it, but you can just go and update it, update or upsert it based on the different conditions. Okay, so this this is going to work in insert and update. I think so both of the condition as I'm writing upset if already exist, it will update if new then it will insert. Okay, so this is how we can write this kind of tri the, the trigger for this kind of scenario. Okay, if you found this video helpful, I request you to please, please, please like this video and please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.